do you look for in a partner? Oh Lord, um, <laughs> what do I look for in a partner? It's a long, long, long list. I'd say I look for someone, I guess, where I don't feel like I need to try. Like I can just be myself, I don't need to try to impress or try to make them like me, because they already do. Does that make sense? the ability to connect with me personally. Uh, looks aren't really what I look for in a person. Um, I look for someone who, you know, I can enjoy spending time with, enjoy hanging out with. I look for someone who can put up with my crazy self, um, someone who will always be there for me and supportive, especially with me going into the law enforcement career. It takes a lot of commitment and love, and that's what I look for in a partner. Oh, well, he is my first one, but I look for someone who I can be myself around, who's loving and supportive, and just like outgoing and have fun. To be honest, it's going to be harder for you to get my attention if you're ugly. I guess like my dad, like you know how they be saying like a girl goes after her dad. Like my dad is really, really goofy, but he's like really, really loving. So I guess I want like a man like my dad, like you know what I'm saying? That would be my ideal, but it might not work out that way, but it's what I want. Someone that doesn't change around different people. They are the same person no matter who they hang out with. Um, they know when to be serious, when to have fun. And they're just a good person all around. I mean, it, it exists, but I would have to say goofy. I have to have to be with someone that's goofy, um, doesn't mind being embarrassed. Know how to make me smile when I want to smile. They know how to present themselves professionally and in front of my family. I'm funny. Someone who has their heart after God, that's for me. Um, and someone who really just does have a kind spirit, someone who wants to work towards loving another person who wants to love other people. Um, I know with my boyfriend that's my biggest thing that I love about him is that he loves people. He loves to be with people. He just makes people feel like they're so loved and even just being around that I think it's an amazing thing. I don't think there is a perfect personality. I think people's flaws are what makes them so unique and interesting and fun to be around. But a heart after God is definitely the top of the list. I'm not exactly sure. Um, some people, I don't know, I, some people just don't look at their smiles. I think that's the best part. Yeah, or just how they are in certain situations, how they act. That can tell a lot about someone. Being content is a huge thing because sometimes you don't have what you want now but you know later on you're gonna get what you want. So not being content now and, um, and striving to continue to do what you wanna be do, being happy and smiling, cause that energy is contagious in a relationship. So if you're always down, and of course we have our down moments, but being willing to be able to pick that your partner up when they're down, and then also in reverse, being able to pick your partner up when you're down. So having that positive, to mix it personality is like one of the hugest things for me see yeah i'm old school so just some something little like it's opening a door or pulling out a chair for someone like it's a little stuff that matters as a gamer one of the biggest things with me is that if she can be almost about as enthusiastic as <laughs> i am about games um whether it's playing halo or Call of Duty or Grand Theft Auto, you know, don't have to really get into f the game fully. You don't have to have an Xbox Live account, but just sharing those moments because some of those, some of the best moments can be created just at home. When a girl's into the same like type of TV shows that I'm into, like if I turn on Netflix and start watching Supernatural, she's like, "Oh, I love this episode," and I'm, I'm just like, "What?" arrogance. Like if anyone was ever condescending to me, I can't do that. And then probably being really racist and biased against just generally anything 
that like you know you can't control or it's just something that people can't help. I think that's ridiculous. Personally, I really don't enjoy smokers. Uh, the smell, the residue, uh, the money needed to continue the habit. Not a fan of it. Also, um, somebody who is 100% full of themselves. So very, you know, arrogant, very hot-headed. Uh, a little bit of self-confidence is okay, but when it when it's over the top, it's kind of a deal breaker. Mm. Probably the opposite of what I do like. I hate shy girls. I hate like if I take a girl to the movies and she's just quiet the whole time. Cause I'm gonna run my mouth regardless, and then I'll just be talking to myself. And I hate that. Cynical spirit, a mean heart. If they're not kind to others, they're not gonna be kind to me. So. I don't really want to be around that. Yeah. I think people who don't respect their parents, even with friends, like if people are really rude to their parents or siblings, just time after time, it just it gives you a good look inside of who they really are and how they really feel about people. You can normally like text or call, stuff like that. Don't give up. It's out there. Um, sometimes you just have to wait and stop looking and eventually it'll come to you. And just don't rush things because then it's not going to last as long and if you really get to know someone and you'll hang out with them and see their personality, you know, you'll get to see what they're truly like and that'll make or break a person. Always smile, you know, I, again I can't push the goofiness no more, I mean, have fun in a relationship. I mean, things could be worse. Just take it all in. And it's a quote that I, you know, I always say is um, take the good with the bad, smile with the sad, remember what you got, and forget what you had. Um, patience. Um, continue to be patient. A lot <laughs> no of one is exactly like you. Um, you have to remember that people come from different backgrounds, different teachings, so you have to be able to work with your partner. Should be a lot of work. I have this much patience, but you gotta be with someone who gives you that equal balance. Relationships take time, they're not immediate, and they require a pretty healthy investment, not just from you, but from your partner. So if anything feels wrong or seems off about your relationship, definitely talk with your partner about it first thing before jumping to a decision. Date, you want to date to marry. You don't want to date to get to know someone. Because at the end of the day, you can hang out with a group of friends and get to know that person. Instead of wasting your time and like develop this huge strings and ties and have soul ties with somebody that you don't even like. So you can should definitely date to marry. Because at the end of the day, that's what we're dating for. Instead of having fun, you can have some fun and be friends. But dating to marry is a huge thing. That's, that's what I was, I grew up on and that's what I believe. I think the most important thing in relationship is communication be patient like like wait for what you want like don't be just don't settle don't just like oh he's here for right now so I'll just take him even though he doesn't have all the qualities I want just be patient he'll come talk to him about it which is why I'm still single because <laughs> I'm waiting that's why <laughs> So what do you look for in a partner? A girl funny, it's, it's a girl, <laughs> partner. <laughs> but yeah, someone I could talk to regularly. Like when you catch them looking at you <laughs> and they try to pretend that they're not looking at you and you just go back and forth. Um, most of it is just chemistry. That's all, <laughs> that's all I'm doing right now. I should be her number one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. okay. You're not always her number one, would that be a problem? Yeah, it, it could be. It could be. Always the like pretty boys. The pretty Unfortunately, boys. like the pretty boys, the ones who are conceited for no reason. Would you say generally that you're happy with where you, who you have now? With her? Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely. Yes, definitely. absolutely. Yeah. Wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs>